morning guys welcome to today's video so today we're doing something a little different we're gonna tackle riley's little art area her like arts and crafts um just like where i store the stuff it's been like one of the things that i've been trying to like pretend doesn't even exist here like i walk past this area and i turn around because you guys are gonna see what a mess it is i'll just show you guys now i am aware that it is Awful. I'm aware that it's really bad, but Jackson is napping now So I figured that we just try to tackle it and just get it in a better state than it is now So this over here is my dining room and I still have like a random Christmas thing here over My table just so that whenever Riley's like playing here. It's not ruining the table. I have a random puzzle mat I've got a random thing of popcorn like this is all hot mess and I've got Riley's stickers out because she was playing with stickers earlier today so we're gonna clean all of this up, but back here is what I wanted to show you. This is the madness right now of all of her Crayola mess free things. We have chalk, we have paint, I've got a random hot glue gun. So obviously, obviously this is out of control. I have a bunch of like random half used like sticker pages and coloring books. So yeah, we are going to do our best to just declutter some of this. Like a lot of this is going to be just thrown away, decluttered because um, this, I can't live like this. So I hope that if anything, you get some inspiration out of this video. Maybe you do this with me. Maybe you start decluttering some of your kids' art supplies and stuff along with me because this has been one of those projects that I've needed to do and I've just, I don't know where to start, but anything like literally anything that I do is gonna make it look better than it does now. I did get this art cart, um, I don't know, several months back thinking that it would help me organize Riley's art supplies and things, but it's turned into this. So we are going to see if I can refresh that a little bit. And Riley, of course, is over here. She's gonna wanna get into everything. Okay, so I have a trash bag here ready to go so that I can just throw away a bunch of garbage. I'm gonna take our puzzle board. This is what Joe and I do our puzzles on, by the way, but I'm gonna move it over here so it's not in the way. I'm just trying to take like some of the random things that were on there and get rid of them. That way we have like a clean slate to work with here. So I'm thinking that the first thing that I should probably do is just take everything that's like down there in that area. I'm gonna put everything here on the table and I'm gonna have anxiety just looking at it, but I mean, I have anxiety now as it is. So I'm gonna take everything out, lay everything here on the table and then I can start like sorting things into categories and then I can get rid of stuff that we just straight up don't need. Okay, so here it is. It looks like a bomb exploded on the dining room table. This is insane. I'm actually very upset looking at this, but that's why we're doing this, right? It's the new year, getting our life together. So here's the thing. Like, there's obviously, obviously a lot of crap here, um, and we're gonna get rid of a lot of it, but like, Riley's always at home with me, okay? Like, I'm a stay-at-home mom, if you guys are new here by any chance. I've got Riley who's three, Jackson is one, and so over the past couple years, I've been just, buying a bunch of coloring books, a lot of, you know, just random things to keep her entertained. So as we kind of go cleaning this mess up, I'll kind of show you guys here and there like some of her favorite things in case you guys are looking for ideas of things to do with your toddlers if they're into like arts and crafts and stuff. But yeah, in case you needed another visual of this, like this is just absolute madness. So yes, I, I don't need it reiterated in the comments how bad it is. Um, I've got workbooks, I've got a bunch of stuff, but like you can see what I do have is like a lot of like opened, here of course is Peppa, a bunch of these like sets that are opened or half used and then the other ones are clean and not used. So we're gonna go through all of this and then, you know, kind of get our life together. There's a lot of sticker books like these that, you know, she'll take some stickers out, but do I really need this thing that looks like this just hanging out here? Probably not. So I think my first plan of attack is just separating things by category, like stickers all in one place, um, like markers. I've got a bunch of markers and paints and stuff down here. So let's do that and kind of put them in categories and then we'll figure out what we're gonna keep and what we're not gonna keep.
Okay, so that took me longer than I thought it would, but I think that I've already made a lot of progress, even though it's not gonna seem like it. It still looks like everything threw up here on the dining room table, but at least I sorted things into sections. And I did go kind of like little by little, just like throwing away random things that I found. So I do have some garbage here, but let me show you what I did. So over here, this pile over here is stickers, and we're gonna go through each of these piles get rid of things, organize it better. Over here I've got coloring books, so like a bunch of just random like frozen coloring books. I also have mine that I can't show you totally. This is my um, adult coloring book that I need to hide from Riley. I mean, she can't read right now, but my sister got me this for my 30th birthday and it is great. So we've got coloring books. These, like over here, it's kind of like falling off the table. This is like random like white pages and stuff that I give to Riley when she wants to play with stickers or I have like this little white notebook for her to color in and all of that. So just like random pages that are blank. She uses those, so I put those there. This stack over here is all of the Crayola mess free stuff that she has, which again, I love this stuff, but we have to go through and see which pages I can get rid of because obviously she's not gonna use all of those. These are the Crayola mess free markers. I'll show you how they work in a second if you've never seen them, but they're great because like this marker won't ruin my furniture if she paints on it. It only works on this special paper. So that's why I get them because they're great, but I'm sure that all of these markers don't work. So we're gonna kind of see which ones still work and all of that. I have a couple of Riley's Water Wows here, which she really likes, and Jackson is starting to get into these too. These are other random little activity books that I've picked up um, from like the Target Dollar Spot and stuff in the past. The same with these coloring things. These are great, like I love collecting them because every once in a while I'll sit Riley on her high chair and I'll say, do you wanna paint? And then I literally just take one of these out. Like sometimes they come in packs like this, also from the Target Dollar Spot. I see that thing was like $1 and it'll keep her entertained for at least like 15 minutes. But I've got a bunch of old ones, right? I've got like some snowmen and stuff because she doesn't go through all of them. So I'm not gonna buy any new ones or I'm gonna try not to buy any new ones until she goes through some of these. Then I've got some crayons, I've got glue, like all of like the basic stuff, some pencils that I bought her for Halloween. I've got colored pencils over here. These are my pens, but I don't know, I'm probably gonna put them like in the same place. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Got more random crayons in this Ziploc and then chalk. See, these are also my colored pencils from my coloring book. So I don't know if I'm gonna put these like in a different area, like my pens and my colored pencils. Then we have these little like coloring packs and these are like also from the Target Dollar Spot. I buy these a lot for Riley because again, I can sit her on her high chair or put her on a little table and she'll like do one of these um, activities or a lot of times I would give her these in the car like since we were doing like a lot of driving from Virginia to Miami and all of that I would pack these in the diaper bag and just throw them in the car and she would have fun just this is like a bigger one which is like a bigger version of this so it's got like a coloring book some crayons stickers and all of that so I have like a little collection here of those what else do I have I have paint so these are all of Riley's paints and she loves to paint okay she loves this I think these are more like watercolor ones which i have a few of and you see i can probably get rid of the ones that are looking like this versus this one but she loves these paints which is why i keep buying them and then i keep all of her paint brushes in this little silicone food bag that i bought for the kitchen the other day but i keep all of those there so a lot of times what riley will do with these paints is i'll take her outside and i'll give her like just a random amazon box like this i think this is why that box is there because i was like oh riley can probably use it to paint on it so she'll paint the sides of it it keeps her entertained so that's why i kind of keep some boxes around I've got this random blue caddy that I'm thinking of using to like store the markers and all of that I've had this forever like it was gifted to us in like a gift basket so might use that I've got bubbles this is something really good for the paint this is what I use I'm pretty sure I got this on Amazon too say I take Riley outside to do like painting on the boxes and stuff what I'll do is I'll put like little bits of like the different colored paints and I will just fill them up on the sides so that way she doesn't have access to like all the paints I can just give her the ones that I want her to use where are her big paints? I think she has big paints somewhere. Yeah, I found them. I have these bigger paints for Riley, like when I do take her outside to color on boxes and stuff. Like for the bigger projects, I get these and they are the best. They come with like a bunch of little tubs of paint like this. So I think it comes with like eight old I give up. This, this is my life. So let's see, it comes with 10 colors. So Riley really likes these. And again, I'll just put a little bit of these here on these little circle things. So that way she's not like, you know, using all of it and wasting it all in one shot. Really? Now they're not going to fit going back. Love that. But yeah, I would love to know what your kids like favorite art 
supplies is or like what's their favorite activity like do they like the coloring books are they more into stickers like what i don't even know how to put these back like they're not all gonna fit what is their favorite thing i would love for some new ideas again like i said i'm just constantly trying to i'm just constantly trying to keep the kids entertained and sometimes that means just switching things up a bit and doing something that's a little bit messier more of arts and crafts but riley seems to like it the only thing that i don't keep here in this area i i literally do not know how to pack this thing away i'm sure that most normal people can figure this out but clearly i cannot but like i was saying the only thing that i don't keep in here are like the play-doh and stuff that riley likes to play with so that's like another one of those kind of arts and craftsy kind of activities come on i have a freaking master's degree i have a master's degree i cannot figure this out maybe like this maybe turning them their sides what am i missing i don't know i really don't know what i'm missing but the other thing that i keep in the garage is like her kinetic sand that's something else that she'll do as like a little activity sometimes seriously it took me like five more tries but this is how you put the paint it was a very simple concept and my brain was not computing it so that's how fried i am but you just put all of the pots in like that and hopefully they stay so then i have this bin here and this is more like workbooks educational stuff so not like stuff that i'm gonna give her really to do on her own this is more stuff that like i give her to do with me so first of all i bought this first little readers thing for her to like teach her how to read it's not something that i'm gonna use with her anytime soon because she's not there yet but i bought it because somebody had recommended it and i just wanted to have it so down the road when she's ready at least i have it and then same with this big preschool book this is one of the workbooks that a lot of people had recommended so i haven't started using it yet but now that she's three this is something that we're going to start working on and it just seems like a very simple activity book for her this is one that i also got that's like cut and paste so we're gonna work on her scissor skills and then i had bought this one the my big activity workbook that has like a dry erase marker but this one is a little bit too advanced for her it's ages four plus so i'll just keep it until she's ready for it and then i also have just like some matching little cards here for like a matching game and then some flash cards these are alphabet flash cards and then these little cards i had gotten at the target dollar spot too too, I think during like back to school season and they're little like puzzles with the matching letters and stuff So just like educational stuff like that I'm gonna keep in this bin and not put like in the caddy and then over here I have random things like these are things that I don't even know if this girl's shop is open anymore But she had sent me these kits and I thought that they were so cute So I thought that if I was ever gonna like make them that I would make them with Riley if I can find her shop I'll link them down below, but this is like a lip balm Kit, like where you make your own lip balms and stuff and then this is like a diy bath bomb set i think so i don't know i thought maybe we'd try to make those at some point i also have my set of post-it notes that i bought recently to kind of organize my life so i might keep this over here let's take my colored pencils and my pens so this is like not writing stuff this is my stuff and i'll put it somewhere else hello thank you baby best wife ever thank you baby do you love this mess joseph mule nope. What does it look like? Looks like your brain. It looks it up. That's so rude. But I mean, it is kind of true. Are you going to be so happy when this is nice and... Yeah, I, I couldn't walk over that. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So we're going to pare all of this stuff down. I've already started throwing a bunch of stuff away. My goal is like once it's all tidied up, yeah, just put like the markers and stuff she wants to use in here. And then, you know not have all of this out all right so this next part is going to be probably a little boring but let's kind of go through some of this and you guys can see where my brain is at got my garbage bag ready to go and no turning back so i'm sure that i cannot be the only mother that has this kind of mess in terms of like arts and crafts and coloring books i have bought riley just a bunch of these coloring books and then sometimes she'll use it like once and then never use it again and this one surprisingly um is like untouched somewhere where you can get good coloring books for super cheap is the dollar tree i'm pretty sure this is where i got this one and for a dollar like that's where you go and you get your coloring books because target will have like the same coloring book for like 3.99 which is insane so if you're looking to like start a collection of coloring books for your little ones definitely hit up the dollar tree like they don't care they just 
want something to color on. This one is in pretty good shape. It has like some stickers, but there's still plenty for her to color. These little ones, they are leaving. They are leaving my house. They're going in the trash because I would much rather just give her one of the big ones unless like we're out and about or I need something to put in my diaper bag, which I'll keep some of those activity packs for that. This one is also untouched. Fancy Nancy. There was a time when Riley used to like Fancy Nancy and now she doesn't really care for her that much anymore which makes me sad fancy nancy is going sorry my friend i feel like this is like a good coloring book except that there's like stickers stuck to the like pages goodbye hatchimals riley does not is not into hatchimals so neither am i this is a coloring book but i think you can also use paints on it it's a very messy thing but if she ever wants to like watercolor on something I guess I'll keep this one. And then I'm sorry, Mickey Mouse, but it's not Christmas anymore. So you are also going in the garbage. All right, we're gonna do these next because this is what I probably have the most of. Again, I love, love, love these. This frozen one was cool because it was kind of like metallic too. I don't know if you guys can even see this or if you even like really care, but this is my life. Let me show you on a pretty new page. Well, I'm gonna end up like throwing this one away, so I'll show you here. But if you guys have never seen the Crayola Wonder Mess Free, they sell them for the most part in these packs. I think sometimes you can get like an actual coloring book that is just Crayola mess free pages but normally inside the pack it comes with like four or five of the markers and then a bunch of these pages so I'm gonna open up one of the markers and just show you how it works so you see I can color on this guy's face earned blue so you can color on that with the same marker if I try to color here see doesn't mark it up doesn't do anything so it only works on those pages. I'll have some of them linked down below if you want to buy them, but they're very satisfying and it's very satisfying to know that Riley can paint and color and not ruin all of my things like a regular marker. Something that I've been meaning to tell you is, I don't know if you guys remember, but for Christmas she got that Melissa and Doug dry erase marker, like little table easel, I think is what it's called. It came with a dry erase marker. The dry erase marker does not come out of clothes, okay? I've already had to throw away one of her shirts it's not a good time so this if she gets it on her clothes doesn't mark up her clothes doesn't ruin it so that's why i'm such a huge fan of these so now let me just go through these it's going to be boring i'm not going to walk you guys through this but i'm going to go through all of these sets and throw away the pages that have already been colored on you see like i have a bunch of this kind of looking stuff that i should have thrown away a long time ago so these are all going to go in the garbage unless they are brand new pages and then we'll see what we're left with So funny i showed you guys on instagram like sometimes riley will ask me to help her color and like the extent of me helping her like i remember i did this one this is the extent of me helping her color these freaking little aliens okay you know i kind of give up halfway through i'm not at all detailed or meticulous and then she asked joe to help her color and this is the painting so if you guys follow along you guys know that joe is a virgo i am a leo and so this is his beautiful painting versus Mine. So anyway, these are the pages that are left. So these are all clean pages that I can now give her and I don't have to worry about whether or not they're all colored on already. So these are those and then I did have one that was like completely brand new. So I'm just gonna keep this like in the bottom somewhere wherever I end up putting them so that I can open it up, you know, on a special occasion. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the pages that I was gonna throw away and I'm gonna open up every single freaking one of these markers and see which ones are dud, see which ones no longer work because she doesn't need this many markers and i'm sure that a bunch of them like once upon a time ago like came in one of those sets and now it doesn't work anymore so we're gonna see how many of these we can get rid of look who came to join us jackson's awake from his nap hi cutie pie you playing with dada you can make him some lunch that'd be good i'm sure he's hungry i love you Little dude, you're gonna start playing with markers and coloring. It's gonna be good times. You're gonna make a mess. Destroy all my things. Yeah. Goodbye. So surprisingly, like a lot of these markers actually still do work. I really thought I was gonna toss like half of them, but that's not the case. A lot of them still work. At least now they're like all in the same place and she knows what she has to work with. So that's gonna be good. Sadly, these um, little scratch off activity books, I'm gonna throw these away and I'm gonna tell you why. I bought them with like high hopes that it would be like something different that Riley could do. But I tried it out one time 
and it was a disaster because you're like scratching off this black stuff here and then you get like these shavings all over the place it is a very messy activity i did not like this at all you see like even now like i've got like a bunch of like black specks falling out all over the place so at least in my opinion do not recommend these so i've made progress on that side of the table i'm going to keep those two water wells next i'm going to do the same thing that i did with these things i'm going to do the same thing with the stickers throw away whatever is not going to be used and look at this i'm also going to curl up all of these sticker rolls that she has done this too love this for me love it once i do that i'm also going to throw away maybe some of her paints like some of these that have been well loved then we can start filling up the caddy with the stuff that we're going to keep you know that she's going to use the most often first let's declutter the crap out of this All right, so here's what we have left of the papers, like the blank papers and the stickers. I pared down the stickers a ton. So I want to show you what I kept. This is like a random sticker like book that I got her and that she still likes to play with. But this is something that you can get your little ones if they're into stickers. I bought this off of Amazon. It is a sticker book and literally it just has pages for them to go putting a bunch of their stickers and Riley doesn't like categorize them by type of stickers but if you want them to like keep all their stickers in one place this might be a good idea just to get them some kind of sticker book that then they can put all of their stuff in and then this is something else that's really good this is a melissa and doug pad and riley has really enjoyed this that's the only reason why i didn't get rid of it well i can get rid of this page because we're done with that one but it comes with like these different pages of like basically dress up for these dolls and then you can go and she's already done a bunch of these so you've got like the dolls i'm trying to find one that she hasn't done so like this is a page of dolls that have not been dressed up yet and then you can go to the matching like i guess like the matching one that has like this one's all dresses and stuff and then she can you can rip this out and then they can go and like put the clothes on the dolls which she's really enjoyed and then the other thing that riley really likes this is just like a random frozen sticker book but the other thing that she likes are these which are also melissa and doug they have these on amazon so they will be linked like anything that i can find for you guys will be linked but there are these little scenes like this is underwater theme this is obviously like the jungle or whatever and they come with puffy stickers so these are different puffy stickers that she can go and put on the different scenes i keep all the puffy stickers in a ziploc just so that they don't like fall all over the place and i don't want jackson sticking these in his mouth because they could be choking hazards but every once in a while i'll give her these and then i'll let her play with them and she really likes them where am i i'm over here organizing all of your things what do you want to play with are you gonna make a mess are you sure okay so let's do it let's get this caddy i'm gonna put most of the markers like the things that she uses to write with her crayons and stuff we'll fill this up and then that way that'll keep some of this stuff a little bit more organized okay so this is what the caddy looks like now tell me that that's not just like so aesthetically pleasing to look at it looks so much better than it did before before i had like a bunch of random like markers just thrown in that little thing so now when she wants to color and yes look at little miss over here she has made her way in here i can just take this out and she has markers she has colored pencils crayons and then she's got some glue here her scissors are down there and then i figured i'd leave these little rolled up stickers that'll probably be an instant regret later she can practice like cutting the stickers she's got the little like safety scissors in here so love this i also pared down her paints so now these are the paints that we're gonna keep did i mention that i have like random bubbles here too because she loves her bubbles and then what are we supposed to do like what do you guys do help me out tell me what you guys do with like the arts and crafts that your kids do do you just take pictures of it do you keep it do you have a special like folder for it i have to create some kind of system so that i don't have just like random things like this all over the place but i'm not there yet these are really like the only things that i have like to keep but if you guys have a system that works let me know what you guys do okay so we've been making a lot of progress remember what this table once upon a time ago looked like so now the next step is i brought the little 
cart. And one of the things that I love about this one is that it's got the wheels. So I have the cart. I'm going to start filling it up now as best as I can. I'm going to tell you this is not my favorite cart. Um, I ordered it off of Amazon. I don't even think they have the same one. I'll link to some similar ones for you guys. But this one is not as wide, I think, as I would want it. Because, like, for example, these coloring pages, I wish that they fit, like, completely flat. And I can't really do that. So they're always kind of, like, you know, like that, which... Fine. But I wish that I had one that was the proper width. But since I don't have a lot of space back there and that's where I keep it. Because remember, we don't have a playroom. We don't have anything like that. So I'm doing the best that I can with the space that I have. So I'm going to put you guys down here on the table. We're going to try to fill this up. And then see what we end up with. Okay, so I did it. This is what my dining room is actually supposed to look like. But over here, we've got the little cart, nice and organized. I'm gonna walk you guys through it. I still have some work to do, and like I might get another one of these carts. I feel like the bins that I have down there it might be nice to like have another cart side by side. But this cart, what I did is I put the little caddy here that I already showed you guys what was in here, all the markers, all the writing stuff. And I feel like it's the perfect thing too, like if I just give her a couple pages of like blank paper she can do a bunch of stuff with this caddy she has some stickers in here the glue the scissors so she can kind of have a nice activity with this stuff the only thing is like she won't be able to write on those papers with um these markers since they only work on the mess free ones but she can still be entertained she has colored pencils crayons so i feel like that is perfect and then i have all of her stickers down here in this first row here and also like the blank papers that she uses to put the stickers on and then I have the Crayola Mess Free stuff, and that's four key that she loves. And then these are the Water Wows. And then down here, I put the coloring books, a few ones that we kept, and some of those activity packs that I can reach for if we're like on the go and I need to go grab something for her to put in the diaper bag. But all in all, way better organized than it was before. And then what I did in this bin is, like I said, this is like the educational stuff, the workbooks and all of that. But I also put in here the paints because she doesn't use that unsupervised anyway. Like if I'm going to give her paints, that's stuff that I have to go and be with her and watch her. So if she wants to paint, I can come in here. I know where to find them. But at least these are the ones that aren't like totally destroyed. And then I put all of the little sets, like the little painting sets, the dollar spot activities in this bin so that they're all in one place. And then I kept those little kits that maybe I'll do one of these days with her um, here. But I feel like this would be nice to kind of just have standing up next to this one. I feel like it would fit really nicely if I had another one of those carts. But not bad for a day's work. Um, I felt like I was never going to finish that. I feel like it took me a couple hours to do that. So now this just makes me so happy because like we were literally avoiding our dining room because... It was awful. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys just enjoyed decluttering and I don't know, organizing the space together. And I hope that that at least gave you some ideas if you're, you know, starting to get into like crafts and art stuff, you know, all that messy stuff. If you're starting to get into that with your little ones, maybe you found something new there that you didn't know about before. I feel like as messy as some of this stuff is, like it is the stuff that gets ready to play like the longest independently. So sometimes like the mess is worth it, right? So you can have like 15 minutes like of just peace and no whining and all of that. So I try to do some kind of activity like that with her at least once a day. But that is it. I am done for the day. Done. Like my one task has been completed. So thank you guys for being here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like these kind of like, you know, I don't know tackling these task kind of videos so I can do more of them for you guys I told you that in 2021 there's gonna be more of this because I have a lot of spaces in my house that need help So thank you for being here. I love you guys to pieces Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys